Hello, this is Ben Schaffer from HebrewBibleVerseAday.com. Um, this is a very special video. It's not like our normal series. And the reason I'm creating it is because we've now finished the first chapter of Genesis, the first Perek of Bereshit in our series. We've done 31 videos and you can find them all on YouTube or you can go to HebrewBibleVerseAday.com and sign up there and you'll be able to see them there. Now, what I'm sure you noticed and I definitely noticed when we were going through the first chapter is that there were many, many words that just occurred again and again. So I thought it just may be useful to record this video and uh, go over some of those words so that they can really stick out in your memory. And uh, what I'm also going to try and do is to create a cheat sheet so that you can get a list of these words and you can kind of look at them again and again when is relevant for you. So if you haven't already, uh, you can do it at the end of the video, of course, have a look in the description below this video and you should find some download to a cheat sheet which you can uh, take and have a look at whenever you want to. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get into it. So Bereshit, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Now here, we have a few words which are repeated again and again and again. Bara, Beit Resh Aluf. And here again, we have Bara. And it's create. it means creation um, or to create. If you remember, every single word in the Hebrew language, pretty much, has a three-letter root. So here is the three-letter root. Now, funnily enough, it has the same three letters on Bereshit, but actually the root of the word is Rosh, which means head. Elohim is the name of God. We get it quite a lot here also. And the other word which we have is Shemayim which means heavens or skies, and also arets. Now, the reason I'm picking out these words, arets means land, the reason I'm picking out these words is because during the first chapter, we just see them again and again and again. So in order to understand the first chapter, we've already come across one, two, three, four words, which you'll see at least three or four times more each of them. So bara is a creation to create. Uh, Elohim is the name of God. Hashemayim is sky or heavens. And Aretz is land or earth. The word et is also interesting because it comes up a lot. It doesn't really have a direct translation, but the closest translation that you'll probably have in English is the. Although the ha in front of Shemayim is also the but uh, that that would be the closest word so we have the word aretz again which means earth or land and that's darkness we have that again as well penei means kind of the face of um, here we've got Elohim again, Merachefet al Penei again, which means the face of um, the plain. Hamayim, Mayim means water, um, and you'll, you'll see it quite a bit also in the first chapter because we talk about Yam meaning seas, and Mayim meaning water, and also um, Yom actually means day. Now it's a different route, but I do wonder if there is a connection. Okay, Vayomer Elohim. Vayomer, we have quite a lot. And also Elohim means God. Vayomer is and he said. Vayomer Elohim is and God said. Yehi or may there be light and there was light. Vayehi, we also have uh, quite a lot. So let's put that down on the list. Vayar Elohim et ha'or, and God saw the light. Vayar 
is from the Hebrew word ro'eh, or the Hebrew word ro'eh is from this, which means saw, Elohim, we've had already, meaning God, or is light, ki tov. Ki in modern Hebrew means because, uh, here it's kind of that it was. Um, now I'm going to put ki tov as one of the words because we do have it many times also in the first chapter. V'yavdel Elohim, and God divided, and we'll see this a lot as well. Lahavdil is to separate or to divide. Elohim is God. Ben Ha'or, or we've had already, is light. Uven Ha'choshech, and we've had that already, meaning darkness. So you can see there's a lot of repetition. I know I'm going through it very fast, but you'll see that there's a lot of repetition. And hopefully when you have the word list in front of you, you'll be able to follow along a bit easier as well. Vayikra Elohim or Yom, and God called the light day. So Yom is day. Um, Elohim we've had, meaning God. Or we've had, meaning light. Velochoshech, meaning darkness, which you've also had. Karat Laila, Laila is night. Vayhi era vayhi boke, and there was morning and there was light. Yom echad, first day. So yom we've had, and we'll see this phrase in particular is repeated for pretty much every day of creation. Vayome Elohim, we've had this before, and God said, Yhi rakia betochamayim, let there be a firmament in the midst of the water. Rakia was an important word. There's no equivalent translation, but we've uh, discussed it quite a bit in this series. And it means firmament, which is some kind of division. Betoch means within. Hamayim, mayim we've had, which means water. Vayihi, mavdil. That's from lahavdil, meaning to separate, like we had... Um, over here, the Avdel, Ben Mayim, between Mayim, La Mayim, and here it means water, waters. So we've had that word again. So you can see, see a lot of repetition. For Ya'as Elohim and God made. La Asot in Hebrew, which is the uh, has the three word, uh, the three word root is actually Ayin and Shin, and then I think a Hey which means to do, Elohim, we've had as God, et harakia, rakia, we had before, meaning permanent. V'yavdel, that means to separate again. Ben, between hamayim, mayim is water, Hashem mitacha la rakia, we had is firmament. Uven, between hamayim, let's put uven, because it's coming up a lot. Hamayim is water, Hashem al la rakia, that was on top of the... Uh, firmament, Vayihi Chen, and it was so, and we've had Vayihi uh, before, and Chen means it was so. Vayikra Elohim, and we've had this before, and God called Larakia the firmament Shamayim. So you can see this also has water in it, but Shamayim is actually heavens or sky. And then we have Vayihi Erev, Vayihi Boker, Yom Sheni. And you can see it's very similar to what we had here. Vayihi Erev, Vayihi Boker, Yom Echad. And this is Yom Sheni. That was the first day. And this is the second day. Let's move on. Vayom Elohim. And God said, we've had this before. Yikavu Hamayim. Mayim is water. Mitachat Hashemayim. Shemayim we've had as heavens or sky. El Makom Echad. Echad we actually had on first day. First day, rather than Thursday. Echad is one. Vetera er. Just putting one down. Vetera er. Hayabasha vayihi chen. And it was so. Okay. Vayikra Elohim layabasha eret. And God called Vayikra Elohim. Ul mikdeh hamayim. Mayim is water. Kara he called. Yamim, waters. What well, he sees. Vayar Elohim, and God saw. Kitov. Vayar Elohim Kitov. Do you remember we had that before as well on the first day? Vayar Elohim et haor Kitov, and God saw the light, and it was good. Vayar Elohim Kitov, and God saw that it was good. Vayomer Elohim. You should know this by now, it is, and God said. 
Tadshe Haaretz, Aretz is land. Deshe Esev Mazriel Zera. Mazriel Zera, we've had quite a bit. Zera is seeds. Seed. That, uh, so we have the verb here and then the noun. Mazriel is, I guess, to seed. Etz is tree. Pre is fruit. Or se is a to do, like we've had before. Pre liminor. Ashe Zara, you can see that Zera again, which is seed. Bo. Al, which is on Haaretz, is land Vayehichen, and it was so. Vetotze Haaretz Deshe Esev Mazria Zera Liminehu Veetz is tree. Let's put that down because it comes quite quite a lot. Ose means is a making word. Pre is fruit. We've had that a couple of times. We'll have a couple of times more. Asher is that. We have the Zera word, the C word, Liminehu, Vaya Elohim, Kitov, and God saw, and it was good. And this is the third time we've had that phrase. Vayhi Erev, Vayhi Boker, Yom Shlishi. And there was evening, Erev, Vayhi Boker, morning, Yom Shlishi. And we've had this phrase twice before, or something very similar. Yom Shlishi means the third day. Vayom Elohim, and God said, Yehi Ma'orot Burakia Hashemayim. Ma'orot is um, the lights. Or is light, which we've had before. Rakia is firmament that we've had before. Shemayim is heavens or sky that we've had before. Lahavdil is to separate or divide. Ben Hayom. Yom is day that we've had before. Uven Halayla. Laila is light that we've also had before. And it may seem like I'm repeating myself saying we've had it before, but it's very important that you do realize that just with a very short list of words, you can probably go through it yourself and actually understand a lot of it. Yamim is days and Yom is a day. And we've had that before. Vahayu l'ma'orot or is light, Birakia is firmament, Hashemayim is heavens or sky, Laha'er al Ha'aretz, to light on the earth, Vayhi Chen. So we've had all of these words before, Vayas Elohim, and God did. Et Shnei, do you remember Yom Sheini was the second day? So uh, Shnei is two. Let's put that in. Hama'orot, Hagdolim, or is light, Gadol is big. Etama or or is light, Hagadel is big or large. Lumem Shelat Hayom, Yom we've had before is day. The et hama or and or is light, Hakatan, which is small, Lumem Shelat Halila, Lila we've had is night, Eta Kachovim. The Yiten Otam Elohim, and God gave. Yiten is like noten, which is to give. Rakia Hashemaim Lahair Al Haaretz. Rakia we've had, Hashemaim we've had, Lahair we've had. Al is on and Haaretz is land or earth. Vilim Shol Bayom Uvalaila. And Vilim Shol kind of means to uh, to rule. The Hebrew word for parliament in modern day Hebrew is Memshelet. Bayom we've had is day, Laila is night. Lahav dil to make difference. Ben haor uven hachoshech, between the light and the darkness. Vayar Elohim kitov. You should know this by now because it's come up a number of times before. And God saw, and it was good. Vayir v'yiboka yom rivi. We've had this before. Rivi means the fourth day, and there was evening and there was morning. The fourth day. Vayom Elohim, and God said, Yishrutzu hamayim. Let's take Yishritsu because that is swarm and we're going to have that a few times. Mayim is water. Sheretz is the same word as Yishritsu, that's the root. Nefesh, we've had that, we'll have that a few times. Chaya, we'll have a few times as well. Nefesh is soul and Chaya is an animal or a beast, I think it says here, or living creatures, it says. The off. In modern day Hebrew means chicken. Here it can mean uh, to fly or a fowl. Al on Haaretz land. Al Pene Rakia Hashemayim. 
Pene, if you remember, it's like the plane or the face. Rekir is firmament. Hashemayim is sky. Vayivra Elohim, and God created. We have, we've had bara to create, and Elohim, which means God. Et Tatanenim Hagdolim, we've had Gadol before, which means big. The Et Kol Nefesh Chaya, Chaya we've had before, which means beast or uh, living creatures. Haromeshet. Asher Sharatsu, Sheretz means to um, creep. Hamayim, Mayim is water. Liminehem, their kind. Now, I think we had, uh, did we put down Min? No, we haven't yet. So let's just put Liminehem down. And uh, it, in modern Hebrew, it can mean sex. It can kind of mean sort. Um, kind, the Et, we've had before. Kol Of, Of is... Um, a fowl, kanaf is a wing, luminehu, and here we're having to its kind again. Vayar Elohim kitov, once again, and God saw and it was good. Vayevarech, and God blessed. I don't think we've had that before, it's like bracha, blessing, otam, them, Elohim is God, le'emor, and le'emor is the same as vayomer. So it's saying, Pru Uravu, Pri, we've had as fruit, so be fruitful, Uravu, and multiply. And what you'll see is that uh, we can often use, in Hebrew, we often use a noun as, we can often use it as a, as a verb. And it's very similar in English as well. Um, run, I went on a great run, um, or to run, you, you're making it from a noun to a verb. Umilu, et hamayim biyamim. And it filled up the Mayim, which is water, the Ha'of, and the Fal, Yerev Ba'aretz. Aretz we've had as land. Vayihir Viboke Yom Chamishi. And there was evening and there was morning, a fifth day. And Chamishi is like the Hebrew word Chamesh. And obviously we've had Vayihir Viboke Yom Chamishi before. Vayome Elohim. And God said, Totse Ha'aretz. Totse is to go out, which we've had before. Aretz is land, nefesh chaya lemina. We've had nefesh, soul, chaya is living. Um, and lemina is its sort or its kind. Behemaya, veremes, vechayato, eretz. Eretz is land, lemina is min to its sort, vechi chen. And it was so. Okay, vayas elohim et chayat haaretz lemina. And vayas is, and God made. Because Elohim is God, et chayat. They're using beast here. Ha'aretz is land, lemina of its sort. And now we have it repeating where it says, et ha'behima lemina. Ve'et ha'behima lemina. And also uh, it says cattle after its kind. Min remembers its sort. Ve'et kol remes ha'adama leminehu. And everything that creeps on the ground, let's put remes down, liminehu, and to its sort. So, so what it what it's saying is that um, you know it's talking about all these different creatures. The Yah Elohim Kitov, and God saw it, and it was good. And obviously, we've had that before, and uh, it's repeating the same kind of thing here. Vayomer Elohim, and God said, and what do you think is going to happen on the sixth day? Yeah, man's created. But you him Aser, or Aser is do, Adam, which is man, like Adam, but Salminu Kidmotenu. So Tselem is like an image. We'll put that down because it comes a few times. Kidmotenu is our likeness. And uh, is God saying in his likeness, in his and the angels? We'll go over that another time. Virudu, Bidgat, Tayam, of Of Hashemayim, Dag is fish. Uh, yam, we've had his water or sea. Off is chicken or fowl or fly. Hashemayim is sky. Uva behema uva chol haaretz. Behema is uh, cattle, which we've had already. And uva chol is the whole of haaretz is land. Uva chol haremes and all the creepeth haremes al haaretz. Vayivra Elohim. We've got the bara. To create et ha'adam b'tzalmo, 
So we've got Adam, which is man, but Salmo, we had in his image before. But Selam Elohim bara oto. In the image we've had before, Elohim is God. Bara is to create oto uh, of him. Zachar uh, unukeva, male or female, bara. We've had that already. It means create otam, created them. V'yavarech otam. V'yavarech, we've had before. It's like a bracha, a blessing. Otam, them, Elohim, is God. V'yomo lehem Elohim. And God said to them, Pru uravu. We've actually had this phrase before. Go, be fruitful and multiply. Umilu et aret and fill up the land. V'chivishuha. And subdue it. And, uh, this actually, there is a verb in modern Hebrew as well, lichvos. Redu, you're red. Let's put this down because we've had it a few times now. Bidgat hayam, the fish of the sea. Uva of hashamayim, the fowl or the uh, chickens of the sky. Hashamayim is sky or heavens of chol haya and every um, beast. Harameset al haaris, and every creepeth on the earth all right so we've had remes we've had as well but yom elohim god said hine natati lechem et kol esev zorea zera asha al pnei chol haaretz hine is here natati i have given lechem to you esef we've had uh, a few times um, which kind of means herbs or plants zera is like seed which you've had asha that al pnei on the face or on the plane Kol haaretz, all of the land. The choet, kol haetz, asher pri haetz. Etz we've had before as tree. Um, we'll have it again soon if you remember the uh, in the Garden of Eden. Asher bo pri haaretz, pri is fruit. Etz is tree. Zorea zara is seed. Lachem yihiel laachla, they will be to eat. Ulechol chayat, chaya we've had before uh, as beast haaretz of the land of the earth of the Ulachol of Hashamayim and every fowl or bird of the skies. Vechol Romes al Haaretz. Asher bo nefesh chaya, the soul of an animal, which obviously we've had before. Et kol yerek esev, all the green herbs. So yerakot is vegetables in modern Hebrew, and yarok means um, green. Esev we've had before and written down of herb. La'achla, ochel, is food, to eat. V'hichen, and it was so. Last verse, V'ya el himat kol asher asa, and God saw everything that he had done. Asa is a doing word, to do, V'ya is saw, and we've, we've had these words as well coming before. Elohim is God. V'hene tov ma'od, and it was very good. So not just good, but very good. And we hear every boke yom shishi, and obviously we've had this quite a few times before as well. And there was night or evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. So I hope you found this useful. I've gone through it really, really fast. And uh, what you may want to do is to go over the individual videos for each of the psukim, for each of the verses as well, uh, where I go over it far slower. The reason for this video really was to show you that there are just many, many words, especially in this verse, that come again and again and again. And it's just one of the reasons why the first, um, not verse, the first chapter of Bereshit, the first peric of Genesis, is just very useful for getting a lot of vocabulary. And I hope that you have achieved a lot of vocabulary, especially if you have watched all the videos in the uh, from the first chapter that are on YouTube. If you haven't or you want to catch them again, please go to HebrewBibleVerseAday.com. You can subscribe to this channel as well. And uh, please do just like this video. I know you're going to tell me it was too fast. Um, it was kind of on purpose. Uh, but uh, please do leave your comments. Let me know what you've felt about the whole of the first chapter their videos and also this particular video as well and it'll be really useful for me and just remember like this video thanks a lot from Yerushalayim Shalom Lehitraot for the last time from Perik Rishon of Genesis of Bereshit Shalom goodbye